In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete beginner's guide to creating forms with ClickUp. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do, of course, is go to their website, which is ClickUp.com. Go here, press get started, and we can go ahead and create ourselves an account. Okay, so once we've signed up, we need to go ahead into one of our spaces and we might have one already made or we can go ahead, press the plus here, uh, create a new space. And then from there, we can go ahead and start from there. Once we're in one of our spaces, we need to go to the top where it says view right here. And then we need to scroll down and somewhere it should say form. For me, it's here. It might be at the bottom. Just look until you find form. So go ahead, click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and start a free trial for the forms. Nice. So we can go ahead and get started right away. So first thing you can see here is on the left hand side, you have um, some tasks. But below that, you're going to have your custom fields here. So we can add a field from a workspace. So one of the workspace we already created. Or we can create a custom field, um, just a new one. So we can create one here and we can create a field name. So what's the field name going to be? We could say something like um, estimated budget. Let's say that, for example, if we want to in here. We can put a description so we can put estimated price of job. Um, and then the field type, we've got a few here. Uh, we've got summaries. We've got check boxes, drop downs, labels, formulas. There's so many here. Um, this one, obviously, we want to do money and put it in the currency that you want. So let's say pounds. But you can see that there's so many different fields you can put in. It's really, really flexible. So uh, let's put required in tasks. Um, OK, well, you have to pay for that, I guess. We're going to press create there. And this is going to be a field right here. We can add field. And now we have a custom field here called budget, which we can go ahead and drag in just like that. So you can see um, that's just pretty easy. Simple as that to go ahead and create a field. They also have some pre-made ones here, of course. So we've got the task name, for example, um, the priority, due date, we can put that in there, assignee, so who's working on it, um, as well as things like status, all that kind of stuff there. And what we can do here on each of these different um, tabs here is we can click on here, we can change the name. So um, name you could put or employee name or assignee is really up to you. Task name, we can change this as well. So we can put whatever we want. Um, and also we can turn them required or not. So uh, we put them as required or not required. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, that's how you basically edit them. And then over here, you can see we've got this thing called logic. So the way that logic works is it allows you to have conditional logic here. So you can say if this answer is yes, then give another box or as you can see here the example they give is if answer is satisfied show the following fields how would you rate us this just allows you to add like follow-up questions uh, show fields that are only relevant based on other questions um, man manage fewer forms so it allows you to put everything in one place and just trigger different workflows based on answers so it's a very very useful feature but of course you do have to pay for that one at the top here as well something to mention is we can change the name so if we put like the um let's say job budget bid uh, as the name that's gonna be the name on the form we can add a description um, please input your final bid for this job uh, obviously you can change it to whatever you need and then here we've got this little logo bit so we can change the logo and this is available with the advanced form customization so with the advanced form customization, you can display logos, you can um, change the colors a little bit more. Uh, it's just a bit more customizable. You've also got other things here like replace ClickUp branding, um, automatically assign tasks and templates, redirect or show custom message after submission. And you can add a capture, which is very useful. A capture basically is the thing we have to solve a puzzle. It just stops spam. So you may find that you're getting spammed a bit. Uh, you can set that up and that should reduce it. You've also got hidden fields and other things like that that you can add uh, with that plan. So what we can also do here uh, on the right hand side is we're going to have some of our um, styling. So we have uh, assigned to, we have select task templates. So we can have a template again, it's on the paid one. Uh, we can set a theme, so dark or light, which is useful. We can set primary colors. Uh, we can change the branding. All of that kind of stuff there, very, very easy to go ahead and do. 
if we scroll to the bottom here, we can even change the button. So we could say um, submit bid or uh, request or request quote. It really depends what you're trying to do. Uh, you can even you know add. I think you probably add emojis there and stuff if you wanted to. And then again, we're going to have our submit um, message here, but obviously you have to pay for that as well. So what we can do as well, if we go on here, we can preview what the form looks like. So this is how it looks. You can see it's actually very nice and compact. So we can go ahead and test it out. Um, so you can see it looks pretty good here. Um, and we can add more fields to it as well. So on the custom field section, as I said, you've got a ton of different things you can add. Um, we can go ahead, I guess we have to create a new one. So here. Uh, but we can go ahead again and we can add field name but we've also got field type again so tons of different ones here date drop down email file so we can do file uploads um, formulas very useful locations that's very useful um, progress so that's cool so it will give you a progress bar based upon how far through they are uh, rating which is cool tasks text area voting website uh, let's just try the location one. Um, I'll put location, create it, add the field, and just drag it in like before. Okay, so we've got the location here. I guess we put a location in. We'll say London. Um, I guess it just it doesn't show up like a map. It's just a sort of placeholder. But we can go ahead and just create a ton of custom fields here. As you can see, voting. So this is a new one. Uh, vote. We got emojis on here, so let's just put the up from create that one, bring it in here, and uh, we can go ahead and vote in there just like that. And, and just we can preview it so you can see here, um, we can say good or bad, and then we've got our location here just like that. Now, as you can notice here, you can see that when I clicked on this, this is the placeholder text, so um, I could put enter your city. And then when I preview it over here, instead of it saying London, it says enter your city here, um, just like that. And then here you've got your emoji that we just set up. Now, if you want to go ahead and copy the link to this, you can see up here, copy link. We can click on that and we can paste that and we should be able to now send that to people so they can go fill it in, which is pretty useful. You also on the left hand side here have responses so you can see the uh, responses and they're going to show up in the in different views here. So we've got a board, list, calendar, table, Gantt. We've got all these different chart views for the responses. So it's a pretty useful way of inputting data in a bit more of a unique way, I guess. And then just like before, or just like usually inside of ClickUp, you've got your automations and that kind of thing. So we can set up an automation here. We can say when, um, when a task happens, um, go ahead and do this. So we could we could set some kind of automation up once the form is submitted. If it contains X, Y, Z, then go ahead and do something. Uh, and this is just useful. We could also integrate it with some of our systems here. So maybe we want to send an email out to the team based upon the form responses. There's just a lot of features uh, that you can go ahead and add into here, which are very, very useful. And yeah, you can then go ahead as well and view it in, in uh, other ways. But it's really as simple as that to go ahead and use the ClickUp form builder. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.